hello everyone welcome back to the map of mathematics in this video we are going to solve this nice algebra problem and here we have p to the power of 6 minus p cubed equals to 2 and we will solve this problem for the real values of p so the very first thing we are going to do is here first we will rewrite this equation as uh, here we have p to the power of 6 and we will write p to the power of 6 as uh, p cubed and its whole squared minus p cubed equals to 2 so uh, in the next step we will convert uh, this equation into the simplified form so that here we just take y equals to p to the power of 3 so when you substitute y equals p to the power of 3 then the above expression will becomes in the form of uh, y squared minus y equals to 2 so now in the next step we will simplify the terms and we move this 2 in the left hand side and you get y squared minus y minus 2 equals to 0 so uh, this equation will become in quadratic form so now we will make the factors of this equation and find the values of y so now first we will break its middle term which is minus y and we can write uh, middle term as minus 2y and plus y and you know that minus 2y plus y equals to minus y and this is minus 2 equals to 0 so in the next step you will take common here y from the first two terms and you take common plus 1 in the next two terms so when you take common y here then you get y minus 2 and when we take common plus 1 here then we get y minus 2 and this whole equation equals to 0. So uh, in the next step you see here we have y minus 2 present on both of the terms so that we will take common y minus 2 and we get here y and plus here we get 1 and this whole equation equals to 0 so that uh, uh, here we have uh, again two cases the first case is we take y minus 2 equals to 0 and the second case is we take y plus 1 equals to 0 so now we will uh, simplify these two cases uh, and here we first uh, back substitute uh, put uh, back substitute the value of y so our value of y will be p cubed so now we put this this value here and you get p cubed minus 2 equals to 0 and similarly here you get p cubed plus 1 equals to 0 so uh, now i can name this as equation number 1 and this as equation number 2 so now we can solve these two equations uh, one by one so now first we will focus on equation number one so our equation number one will be p cubed minus two and we will write it as p cubed minus we write this two as two to the power of one over three and its whole cubed equals to zero and now in the next step we will use here the nice cubic formula and you know that if we have a cubed minus b cubed it is equals to a minus b times of a squared plus a b plus b squared so now we will use here this nice formula uh, so our above expression will becomes in the form of p minus 2 to the power of 1 over 3 into p squared plus 2 to the power of 1 over 3 into p and plus b squared so b is 2 to the power 1 over 3 and it will becomes 2 to the power of 2 over 3 and this whole equation equals to 0 so again here we have two cases the first case is we write p minus 2 to the power of 1 over 3 equals to 0 and the other case is we write p squared plus 2 to the power of 1 over 3 into p plus 2 to the power of 2 over 3 equals to 0 
so now first we will focus on the first case and in this case you will easily get the value of p equals to 2 to the power of 1 over 3 so this is the our first root of this problem uh, and now uh, because in this problem um, we need to find the real roots only so that we will first check this is this quadratic equation has real roots or not uh, so that uh, we will uh, check the roots of this equation by using the discriminant formula so according to discriminant formula we need the values of a and b and c so here we have a equals to 1 and b equals to 2 to the power of 1 over 3 and c equals to 2 to the power of 2 over 3 and our uh, discriminant is delta equals to b squared minus 4 times of ac and now we put the values of a b and c in this formula and you will get here 1 squared minus 4 times of a is 2 to the power of 1 over 3 uh, sorry here you have b squared so b is 2 to the power of 1 over 3 so when we uh, put here it will becomes 2 to the power of 2 over 3 minus here you have 4 times of 2 to the power of c is 2 over 3 so now we will we will just subtract these two values and you will get here minus 2 times of 2 to the power of 2 over 3. So uh, uh, this equation will tell us that it is lesser than 0 so it cannot have real root. So this equation have no real roots so that we will reject this case and in this case we have only one root which is p equals to 1 over 3. And in the next step, we will move our equation number uh, 2. So this is the our equation number 2. So it is equal to p q plus 1 equals to 0. Now we will solve equation number 2. So uh, here we have from equation number 2. I can first write here equation number 2 which is p cubed plus 1 equals to 0 and now we write this one as p cubed plus 1 cubed equals to 0 so here we again use the cubic formula and it will becomes p plus 1 times of p squared minus p plus 1 squared is 1 and this whole equals to 0 so again here we have two cases the first is we write p plus 1 equal to 0 and the other case is we write p squared minus p plus 1 equals to 0 so in this case you will get the value of p is which is p equals to minus 1. So this is the our second real root of the given question. And now uh, here again we check is this quadratic vein has real roots or not by uh, checking uh, according to discriminant formula. So that here we have a equals to 1, b equals to minus 1 and c equals to 1. So our discriminant formula is delta equals to b squared minus 4 times of ac and here we have the value of b is minus 1 square so minus 1 square will become plus 1 minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 1 and here you have 1 minus 4 and 1 minus 4 equals to minus 3 so again this shows that uh, our delta is less than 0 and if our delta is less than 0 so by according to the definition of discriminant we can say that it has no real roots so if it has no real roots then we will again reject it this case and we have only one solution from here which is p equals to minus 1 so uh, finally we have the two solutions of this problem the one is p equals to minus 1 the other solution is p equals to 2 to the power of 1 over 3 so these two are the final solutions of this problem and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos